from Universal Studios Hollywood. Welcome to Home and Family. Uh, we all have problems. Our next guest is going to show us how we can get through these in a very easy manner. Uh, he's the author of Who Knew? 10,001 Easy Solutions for Everyday Problems. Bruce Lubin is back. Welcome, Bruce. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's great to be here. We are right. We all have problems. How about spilling wine on your shirt? How many of you have done that? Mark shaking his head furiously. We're going to get rid of that really simply. Oh, if you ever burnt the gravy before Thanksgiving, forget throwing out. We're going to cure that to simple ways to save money and time and make your life easier. Wait till you see what we have. Yeah. Um, spilling wine on your own shirt's not a problem. It's what Spill you're spilling <laughs> well, that, somebody else's Exactly shirt. right. We're going to solve that too. too. Okay. That's right. <laughs> it's an embarrassment that goes along with that. <laughs> Coming up next, all those problems you have, you, you think you do, Bruce is going to solve them all for you. Bruce Lubin is here. He's got some quick and cheap ways to solve every kind of problem that you have every day. That's great. One problem everyone has at Thanksgiving can be solved with peanut butter. It's coming up right after this. So you say you're having tough problems removing those food stains on your clothes. Are you spending too much on dryer sheets? Can't get rid of those fish odors? Our next guest has quick and affordable fixes <laughs> these oh so worrisome problems. What are you, late night host? Or with well, this? I thought I would Great. sell. Bruce is here and I love to do this. This is But order by midnight really tonight, stuff. Mark. I know. I'm going to learn these great things. Ten thousand. Uh, who knew? 10,001 easy solutions to everyday problems. Bruce Lubin is here. He has no problems in his life because he solves That's every single one. I got no problems in my life. And I got my book. It's out by Telebrands, the As Seen on TV people. You can get it everywhere. Yes. So let's solve, okay. As Seen on TV, let's, let's solve the problems. Awesome problem. Ladies, you probably have this more than, more than guys. You put your yes. shirts on and you get a little deodorant on it, right? Yes. And there's that stain, pantyhose. Can right. you guys see this? Oh. If you just rub pantyhose over this, the stain comes okay, right question. out. Wait, time so out. think and about that. Time out. How time did out. you even come up with well, that? Well, okay. okay. <laughs> yes, yeah. good question. My wife and I have been doing this for 20 years. She found this one out. Okay. We'll, pantyhose? Pantyhose. The stretchiness oh, in pantyhose actually grabs the deodorant. So All right. I just want to be clear. I'm walking down the mall. Da, 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 I see Christina. She goes, you have some deodorant on your shirt. You want me to stop right there, take I, off my pantyhose. I want you to take off your pantyhose. And wipe them on That's my shirt. <laughs> I don't ever want you to take off your pantyhose, okay. but yes, in theory, right. that's exactly, Let's go. that makes sense. How about stains well, when you're no tailgating or at Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. Have you ever poured, have gotten uh, ketchup or mustard or wine? Put something on that, and Here I'm sure you had to get rid Here of it No, I'm not going to put something on it. Oh, he's a, he's a mess. He's a mess. He's a mess. A little bit of, of this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. so what you're going to do, this is a, con a complete mess. He's been drinking again, Mark, yeah. of course, yeah. but it's afternoon, so it's okay. You're going to just do this, then you're going to take a magic spray of 50% peroxide and 50 percent detergent from the dishwasher just uh, dish detergent just like regular dish just soap, yep. you would like have it hydrogen peroxide. like hydrogen peroxide okay. now you have to make sure it's color fast it doesn't have to be white but watch this you put it in water for a second I've used that and this stain it's gonna come right out Okay, is out. another question. Oh, out. Wow. Gone. So think about it. How much do you save on clothes that you've thrown out because there's stains like this? Okay, but right? now that looks to me like it's polyester. Can you this use is, it on cotton? You can use it on cotton. You can okay. use it on anything as like long as it's color fast. So what does color fast mean? Color fast means it's got to have something in, in it that, that will not react to bleach. So you can do a cotton not shirt. Not react to bleach. Yeah, and it's a very little bit of bleach here, okay. right? So, but you can try. What I would say is try, you know, in an area that, that you know, you, right. you're not looking at first. Okay. that you can't see first, but right. it works on virtually everything. Okay. Absolutely. Do I risk dishpan hands? Do you, that is a, 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 That's a casualty absolutely, that, that will be a casualty, the okay. dishpan hands. Okay. Let's talk about the laundry, okay? We hate uh, fabric softener sheets because they're, they kind of smell, they're filmy. Yeah. People spend about $80 a year on them. So no. you want to get rid of static cling, a ball of aluminum foil. Just take two balls like this. Roll this up, put this in your dryer. You can see how firm this is because we've been using this up for about a month already. This will last about six months. 
So that gets rid of static cling. Okay. That's and all you have to do for you pennies. Find out? Who would it's think to roll up <laughs> aluminum foil and Jeannie and I don't have cables, so we do these <laughs> 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 We have three children, but they're all so this is all we can do. I can do that. I like that was shameless and I liked it. And I like it. If you want to keep your clothes soft, a little vinegar in the washing machine with the detergent. And if you want to if you want to scent just a little bit of essential oil, a drop or two, or you can just put it on a face cloth like this and put this in the dryer. Well, See that? Oh, in the dryer. Okay. Your sweet orange. Because I was yeah. going to ask. I buy those. No, you don't want to buy those. You don't want to buy them. And they're sheets. And you know they do make everything a little bit filmy and a little do sort they? of. Yeah, you know, like a little the messy. The smart so way to do this filmy. is you take those drops and if you put them under here, everything <laughs> everything smells, smells nice. Smells <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, so, that's great. Right? Well, what, what you're saying? <laughs> Sorry, this? I don't mean to undercut you there, Bruce, but I think I got no, you. No, that's great. I think that's a good tip. That's a ten thousand and two mark. Thanks for that. You put this in the dryer for the static for the static clean and this for this the aroma for the smell and yeah. Put a little bit of vinegar in with your in your washer. Okay. And that, this is the pennies, so okay. you're going to save it yourself is. at least 80 bucks a year. I love that. Doing that. Let's save Thanksgiving. Okay. Yes. If you've ever burnt gravy, yes. what you want to do? Take the bur move it to another pan. Put in a teaspoon of peanut butter. Whisk this around. Now we 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 sort of heated this up a little bit. You want to whisk it around like this. I don't know if you guys want to taste it, but the burnt smell will be gone, and the taste of the peanut butter. You you will not taste peanut butter at all. It'll just taste like regular gravy. Wow. With, right? That's, That's all good. you need to. It also works on fish. Yeah. Like so if you've ever used, if, if you're cooking fish and it sinks, you want a little peanut butter there, and that will get rid of the smell as well. Wow. Okay. Could you use How it for deodorant? That? that I don't know. That's a good <laughs> thing. You know? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Help Kids, don't here. try this at home. <laughs> really don't. Uh, let's talk about if you get those shoe, those those stains on your shoe from snow, from the from salt. Well, right? Mark has those on his shoes. It drives me crazy. He does. Well, it's all not. you want to do, look at this, folks. Can you see this? A little bit of vinegar, not water. A little bit of vinegar. This That's is great. That's suede. Yep. Yeah. And, and then this okay will dry. On this oh, wow. Absolutely. And this I will then. Use that this morning. You could have used that this morning. Yeah. If you have any any little stains like that, you just want to use a little vinegar. What about leather? Leather, you want to use egg whites uh, to clean. To really? Clean. But, egg of whites. Oh. Sorry, egg but of course. But of course. Yeah, I should have known that. <laughs> okay, all right. So How about this one? Ostrich for, egg or just a regular, just regular egg? Just a regular <laughs> old egg. Okay. Uh, this is a great way to store your boots, right? Your leather boots are falling down like uh -huh. this in the closet. You got them out for the winter. What you're going to do is take empty, not full, bottles of wine. Oh. Now look at this. Keeps the closet clean, keeps the shoes in shape, and there you go. Your Ready wine cellar. for the. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Your wine cellar in the boots, right? I put Old magazines in there too. Do you notice yes. some, some people use those pool tubes? I tend to have more old wine bottles. I don't know why, so I use those. <laughs> okay. So this is what works. Okay. This is what works. It works for you. Isn't that great? I want you to smell this. This we just use some time. Can you smell time? Oh, yeah, I can smell yeah, time. Because it's a coffee grinder. People right. use it for a lot of other things like spices. You want to get rid of the smell? Put some of that oat cereal. Oh. Yep. Yeah, you said it. That's it. I didn't say it. Just like this. No, you didn't say that. That would have been awkward. <laughs> Smell, smell now. Wow. Smell is gone. Oh, I want milk in there and eat it smell like cereal. <laughs> <laughs> so Once good. you wipe this out, there'll be no smell at all of the Cheerios it's or no anything. Smell. And now you can use coffee, you can do breadcrumbs, you can do whatever you want. Oh, I can I give you one more tip? Yes. When you're at the it. mall, okay, and you lose your car, this is what you want to do. Put this under your head like this. The fluids in your brain, I kid you not, will give you about 30 to 60 more feet. So if you're looking, if you've lost your car, this is what you want to do and you'll find it. Thirty. What, what, what does it do? It, it, you become a radio. You become a little bit more of a. You, you become a radio, and you and this this I, actually increases. You, can I, you sure can. You sure oh. can. See, it makes sense that I'm a broadcaster. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> more information <laughs> on absolutely. Bruce. Go to who knew. Uh, go to. I'm sorry. Who knew? Uh, that's a k n e w <laughs> books dot com. That's a real. That I, love I don't know about that. Ten thousand more. I don't understand that. Yes. Does it make you smarter? I don't know if it makes you smarter, but it makes you smarter because you get home faster, right? Wow. You're not walking around in the mall like a crazy <laughs> person in the parking lot. Ken Wingard is up. up next. Ken. <laughs>